Last week we showed you a little about this park, Paris Mountain State Park, where it's the king of hiking in South Carolina. This week, in part two, we get to meet Iggy the Piggy. Maggie gets to be an uptown dog in beautiful Greenville, South Carolina, and we griddle up a simple campsite pizza. But first, the reason we came here, hiking. This hike is the Sulphur Springs Trail, which is at the top of the mountain, to the Fire Tower Spur Trail. I think we're going to try to go up that as well. It's a beautiful hike through the woods on the side of the, uh, the mountain ridge here. And it seems weird to be in South Carolina and be saying mountain ridge, but it's really cool. Quite a bit of elevation change on this trail, 3.2 miles, and it's a uh, it's a little bit well of a hike. Could anyone do it? I don't know. If you have a hard time with uh, boulders and rocks on the trail, I think I'd be careful about coming here. Parts of it are like the part we're in right now, where it's just packed down red dirt and sand, but parts of it are scrambling over rocks and boulders. So uh, you just have to you have to judge for yourself. I think it's rated as a moderate hike. It's not it's, hard, but it's not easy. So, lots of roots also. But just watch where you're going. Watch where Maggie's going. <laughs> One foot after the other. She never really even looks at where she's putting her feet either and never trips. Pretty amazing. It is, but we have to be really careful. And I think you might have to be as well. Nice and cool this morning. Yeah, it feels like, like fall. and we're in the woods, so every now and then you get a breeze. It's been really pleasant. Look at this. Hmm. A dead pine tree. It's all the yeah. little dead pine cones. They're hanging on. They're hanging on for dear life, aren't they? If they'd only let go, they could have lived. So we started up there. Looks like we're a little over halfway. Almost, almost to the spur. Yep. Trail. Hmm. Not too much further. Yeah. Really great out though, all trails. Mm -hmm. So this is actually not on Paris Mountain. In fact, Paris Mountain is a lot higher than this. So when they built this, they thought it would be a good observation point, but they couldn't see 360 degrees around because the mountain blocked the view. So in the 40s, they donated it back to private land and uh, gave up the spot. So if you come here, you're gonna be right on the border of a lot of private homes that have really good views up here. Wow. Not as graceful as she is. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so this is a multi-purpose trail. So expect to see some awesome mountain bikers go by. <laughs> oh gosh, you're flying. <laughs>
My watch kept telling me because of all trails that we were off the trail, but I just thought, well, it's just because we're on the loop portion. But no, we took a wrong turn and we're headed all the way around the mountain. So we're now going to turn around and head back the way we came for about a third of a mile and then get back on the trail. So we just made this long hike a little longer. Let's go, Maggie. Follow mom. Go ahead. Maggie doesn't want to turn around and go the same way we just came because she's pretty tired. And All trail saved us again. Did. Yep. Hey, Maggie said, Daggum it, Daddy. You said we were going downhill. This is uphill. She's got wiggle, wiggle, wiggle going downhill to a science, but I should have known because I did not remember this little tree and all the rocks when we came through. And we probably should be more aware of the... The blazings. We've been on blue blazings. And if you look at this, when I'm saying, that's the sulfur springs blazing. It's red. We are. It's a good thing about it though, we'll get back. It may alter our plans for the rest of the day, but we'll have a good time no matter what. As Maggie's getting older, well, and we are too, but as she's getting older, we're kind of having to make sure that we're careful with her though when we do this, because um, this is a really long hike for her and elevation gain and all that she's going through. Um, that's the only reason I feel bad about this is that we forced her to go a little further than maybe she would have had to. Three miles is about it. For it's her. about her limit. It's three miles. So this is going to make this more of a four-mile hike over the mountain. Oh, well. We'll make it. If I have to, okay. we'll carry her. Well, that was a little bit of a detour, but part of that loop before you get back to this point veers off on the Canuga, whatever, Canuga Trail, and we took that. We should have stayed on this light blue blazing. We've got it now though. Should be downhill from here. Shouldn't it, Maggie? You can wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all the way back to the van. Wait a minute, out there is an RV. Are Not today RV because, we well, today it said we RV. couldn't come up here if we were an RV, so we decided we were a van. Found a little log we can sit down and hopefully get Maggie to lay down to rest. But she keeps hearing the squirrels and other things, and she's not doing real well at resting. Why are you mad? Let the squirrels go and come over here and rest. So we sat down for maybe five minutes, Lynn says. <laughs> maybe ten. I think eight old legs are doing better now. Can you count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight old legs. Whew. A lot of young legs been walking by us as we've been sitting there. It's good to see people out hiking and using the wilderness like this. It's really awesome. Are you uh, rejuvenated now, Maggie? You're moving better. Yeah, moving awesome, let's go home. <laughs> we walked over that last hill and you could see the echoes sitting there. And Maggie got real excited and started almost running. I think she's realized now that it's a little further than she thought it was. But she's pretty happy to be back. Great hike. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It's good to get back out in the woods again. It is. Not sure how far we've gone. We'll check I've, that out. I've got 4.4. .4. But yeah. I didn't start it right when we started. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we should be about somewhere short of five miles up and over the mountain. So, I don't know. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure how accurate our Apple watches are at measuring that either. So, it doesn't matter. I know where we are now. We're at a place where this will work. And we can open up the van and... Not sure what we'll do. We may crank it up and turn the air on, or maybe even start the air conditioner. I don't know. Right now, I gotta put this in here. 
and open it. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay, you want to do the air or you want to do... No, we can just do them. I'll crank it up, get it started. Here it comes. Air blowing now, Mag. Air's blowing. All right. It's awesome. On this hike, our uh, Govi monitor actually went off and told us we were over 90 degrees. Now we're at 99.1 inside the van. But because we have this, our uh, T-Mobile hotspot, it stayed here. This thing is connected to that and it sent us a notice. And why is that important? Well, it's important because had we left Maggie it would have told us there was something wrong with the AC or the battery or something that would have kept her from being safe. So when it got over 85, we would have turned around and rushed back. Does that feel better? Man, that's awesome there, isn't it? Yeah, I, think, I know. Okay. Windows already down though, so she can <laughs> hang out the windows. We drive back down the little mountain. What's the pig's name? Her name is Iggy. Iggy. How long have yeah. you had her? Uh, since she was a, like the size of a sweet potato. You're oh. kidding. So yeah. what's it, what's it, do you travel with her or yeah, just? Yeah, she goes with me. What's it like traveling with, they're, they're intelligent, aren't they're they? They're easier than a dog. Really? Yeah, she's super smart. Oh wow, way to go, Iggy. She's uh, had her for, they're great. She's, ha she's a house pig. Bye, <laughs> Iggy. <laughs> Tonight's dinner is pretty simple. We were at Publix, Mama Publix. I got some chicken and we got things that we needed to make breakfast this morning. And after a long day of hiking, well, we were there and we were checking off a few things, but Lynn was walking around picking up all these things. I thought, why are you getting all that? We got this Mama Publix bread and she finally said, I'm gonna make pizza out of this bread. Just wait and watch this. And so <laughs> tonight, we're too tired to go back into Greenville and explore. So we're gonna make pizzas out here on the outdoor kitchen and we'll show you a little bit about that. Several times many of you have mentioned that it looks like I'm having to dance around the uh, outside refrigerator to cook. And I was afraid to do that and put it underneath it, but it actually works out better if I close the refrigerator up, I can walk right up to the griddle. Works well. It's still cold to the touch on top. This thing is not hot at all underneath and that's what I was worried about. So thanks for telling me I look really goofy doing that. This is easier this way. Wow, look at that. This is your invention, so. My invention. It's your regular marinara sauce. Man. Yeah. It's like such a tomato. Bread art smells good already, it so. It does. Lots of pepperoni. While she's putting this together, I've turned the uh, temperature down outside. Because you can't just wait till you get ready to put this on. I think it stays hot for a long time. In fact, it's probably still too hot to put these back down. We'll cheese on top of that. Wow. Yum, yum. And Your what turn. Are, what are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> if you need two, then we'll uh, make another one. It's still smoking out here. Let's go get this on here. Got the flame down as low as it will go. 
as you can see it's still smoldering hot so we're gonna let it cool off just a few minutes before we put these on let's put these on there now well, they're already awesome no sense wasting that cheese now tricks cover them up and bake underneath that for a few minutes and the cheese should be good and melted and man they've been on a minute now and i'm going to go ahead and just turn the heat off and let the temperature from the griddle actually melt melt the cheese i think that'll be perfect i don't want to burn my bottom here let's take these puppies off whoa whoa man that was close to being disaster all right okay let's go get hey did you bike. notice my little holder thing i have here look at this with this up i always thought it would get in the way mm -hmm. what i do is i I put pot holders on one side, put the uh, napkins on this side. Pretty cool. Let's go eat. Dinner. Not much of a dinner, is it? Hmm. Hmm. Simple, but really, really, really good. I never knew what you were talking about today when we were walking around in Mama Publix. You know, we just went there to get chicken and get the things we needed for uh, um, the dinner for tomorrow. But that bread, you were right, that makes a really good pizza crust, almost like a small version of a Chicago deep dish pizza. And it's, it's, just, it's just great. It's a simple way to make dinner, but we're really loving that outdoor kitchen on the uh, Echo. I didn't know if I would. I didn't know how it would do compared to the griddle, but it's just so versatile. And I tell you what, we like it. Enough talking, let's get to chewing. So parking at Publix was a little bit of a challenge and finding parking in uptown or downtown Greenville, well, it's been a challenge, but we found some two hour parking that it looks like I'm able to get in. Uh, lots of free parking here, and it's really close to the uh, the uh, Falls Park, which is what we're going to go visit first. Maggie's pretty excited. Yep, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I started to say I bet you are too. Okay, let's see if we're in this parking place. I think we're in it. It's close, but I think we're in it. Awesome. Let's see if I could have gone up any further. I think we're in too, sweetheart. Let me lock this side door and we'll start walking. Storms come, storms go. A gentle breeze or oh, strong blow. Sometimes in life, just got to anchor down you gotta anchor down play it safe risk it all run for cover better fall sometimes it seems you've got no choice at all got no choice at all some days are better than others so many downtowns and uptowns just dying away this is a shining example of how to get run over and how to uh, revitalize a downtown area you enjoying being an uptown girl buddy? You may see some of these on future videos. Did you find you a comfy place? Yeah, we found a place. You can see you watching people walk back and forth. I got you by my side. I can't 
Thanks for joining us this week. We're back at the Echo as we completed this little romp around the beautiful city of Greenville, South Carolina. Get your own water now. I know. She's crawling up slowly. I think she got sore from yesterday too. Whoa, I think we, here. we all did. Sure we didn't get a ticket and we didn't. And if you like this video of us walking around the downtown area, you might enjoy when we went to Floyd, Virginia and walked around that small town with Maggie. Everything will be alright.